And in other news, maybe it jolted you out of bed or you slept right through it. An earthquake recently shook our town and the surrounding areas. In fact, police report more than 70 people called 911 the morning of February 10th. NCTV 17's Alex Simmons has the story. I looked to my husband, I said, did you feel that? Those words were spoken by many sleeping Northern Illinois residents when they were woken up by an earthquake just before 4 a.m. Wednesday morning. No serious damage was reported, but the United States Geological Survey received more than 18,000 responses from those that felt the quake, more than 700 of those in Naperville. Others had no idea anything had happened. No, we didn't hear it at all. Didn't feel anything. We slept well last night. Wednesday's quake may have only been a minor one at 3.8 on the Richter scale, but people in 17 states reported feeling shaking in their home. Experts say tremors from an Illinois quake like the one on Wednesday travel so far because the rocks below the surface are so flat. If we're if we're 40 miles away, right from from the epicenter, uh, we should feel that we should feel that energy like six seconds later. So the energy is released, boom, six minutes, six seconds later we feel it. So it travels very fast through dense and elastic rocks. With seismic energy moving that quickly, it's no wonder many Illinois bedrooms were like this. I was sound asleep and my husband woke me up to ask me if our dog was jumping on the bed, to which I responded, are you crazy? The dog is not on the bed. And he says, well, don't you feel that? Reporting from downtown Naperville, I'm Alex Simmons, Naperville News 17. The epicenter of the quake was in rural Kane County near the town of Hampshire, about 40 miles from Naperville. Well, the earthquake came at a perfect time for some science teachers at Washington Junior High. Sixth grade science teachers are in the middle of their natural disaster unit, and the quake made the students mini earthquake experts. Well, I was sleeping, and then I heard the giant boom. My cat ran off my bed, and then my parents came in and said, that was an earthquake. And I was like, ah, are there are any fault lines over here. So it was pretty scary. I still got really scared because I never felt an earthquake before. How cool was it? It was awesome. I just, I wish, I sort of wish that another earthquake would happen again so I could feel it. The unit on disasters like earthquakes, tornadoes, and hurricanes is a fan favorite, but the tremors really made the lessons hit home. They, they come fired up, ready to go. You feel the earthquake, you know, ah, whatever, that, that kind of, that kind of stuff. And, uh, what, what's, you know, what's interesting is how many personal experiences they, they bring in from there and then the connections that they make to their language arts project. Big earthquake experts say the forecast for tremors in Illinois is very unpredictable because underground structure throughout the state is unknown.